So I'm out here trying to get some shots of my town and that's my Canon M6 Mark II. I thought it would be interesting to see how my full frame camera, my EOS R, handles the low light situation that I'm now in. Currently right now I'm shooting at an ISO of 12,800. My f is at f4.5 because I'm shooting with the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter, so that doesn't open any wider than 4.5, and of course 25 frames per second and 150th of the shutter speed. So this is how that looks on the Canon EOS R, and now I'm gonna try and switch over to my. Canon M6 Mark II and see how much I have to raise the ISO to get a usable image. And this is the Canon M6 Mark II. I think I say Canon. Canon. It's Canon. And this is my Canon M6 Mark II. And now I have the same settings on this camera. My ISO is at 12,800 and just by looking at the screen of this footage I can see that this footage is a lot more noise on and especially when you look at it that way and if we compare if I place the other footage on that side of the screen now you can see that I think there's a lot more grain or noise into this picture so if I try and lower the ISO a bit let's say so now it's at 3200 I think it looks better but still noisy so just to compare once again let's switch to the EOS R now and now we're back on the EOS R and as you can see as it's getting darker and darker out here the grain is getting worse and worse and now I'm still at 12,800 with the EOS R I can't change it down to what did I have the other one on 3200 so this is the EOS R with ISO 3200 it's quite dark so let's get it back up now we're at 25,600 ISO and yeah, this looks kind of grainy too. I think this looks like the Canon M6 Mark II did at 12,800, but I'll have to check it when I get it back on the computer and into Final Cut Pro. Now I just wanted to compare, I realized I've forgotten to take the Road video micro on the camera, so now it's the internal recording of the camera, but that will have to do. I just wanted to test out how the RF lens worked on the Canon EOS R, and I think that works better because now I'm down at 12,800 on the ISO with the RF 35mm. I'm at f2.2, so I can open that up wider. Now we're at f1.8. That's as wide as it gets, so I don't know, I think it looks better. So the full frame camera with the full frame lens does seem to do a better job than the crop sensor camera with a cropped sensor. Now I'll check the Canon M6 Mark II with the 22mm f2 because that focal length is kind of the full frame equivalent of this EOS R with 35mm. So, Let's try that. So now these are the same settings. On the Canon EOS R I have 35 millimeter at f2 at 12,800 ISO and my Canon M6 Mark II I have this at f2 at ISO 12,800. And I think the Canon EOS R gives a better image or it handles higher ISO a lot better than my Canon M6 Mark II. Now, I didn't calculate the aperture into this, so now my Canon EOS R is at an f3.2, and 
the Canon M6 Mark II is still at an f2. So now the aperture and the focal length on the Canon M6 Mark II is a full frame equivalent of what I have now on the Canon EOS R. So it's a lot darker on the R than it is on the cropped sensor camera. Now I have the R at ISO 20,000 and this is the Canon M6 Mark II ISO 8000 so I don't know. So yeah it is a brighter image on the Canon M6 Mark II but the higher ISO on the Canon EOS R still gives a better image and it is a better performance ISO wise on the full frame camera than it is on the crop sensor camera. So this was a short test of light performance when it comes to full frame and crop sensor cameras.